Captain's log, date January 30th, 1943. We have just received a radio message from Comm Sub Pack. Ultra have discovered major indications that a large IGN fleet has sailed from truck and redeployed to the northeast of Ontong and Java Island. The sailfish is only 115 nautical miles away from this area. I ordered the boat to turn to course 224 and brought all four diesel engines online. Making an average speed of 18 knots, we will be in the area in six hours. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more Silent Hunter 4. We are in pursuit of this Japanese invasion, or not invasion force, but a task force, I guess it is, uh, that has redeploy redeployed to Ontang Java Island here. So for units in the Solomon Truck area, there are indications that a major IGM fleet have uh, deployed from truck in the waters north of Ontang Java Island. Units operating within strike distance attempt to intercept, and I accidentally blew the ballast. I must have clicked something in the in here. Yeah, I think I clicked this. <clears throat> I think these levers uh, blow the ballast here because they control the uh, all the indication valves and such. That's why they have the Christmas tree there. So, oopsie daisies. But anyway, so we are currently operating northeast of Ontang Java. Ontang, Ontang. I'm sure it's Ontang Java. Uh. It's an O, not an A, but whatever. Um, so I plotted a, just a regular surge pattern up here to the northeast. Hopefully we'll run into them. I want to do periodic dives. Also, it is currently, it's just before noon, and it is pretty bright outside, as y'all can see. So, let's get up on here. Let's see if we can see anything. So aircraft are definitely going to be a problem, especially, I'm not sure if this island is inhabited. I would assume so if the Japanese deployed a force over to this area. But I swung by the actual island chain and there's there's nothing in here, it's just literally just a few islands. So my presumption is they're about maybe 150 nautical miles out to sea. Uh, that's my best guess and they might be more like 200 so we'll spread out a little further if we need to but this should cover a pretty good area <clears throat> excuse me but like I said we'll be using a lot of radar let's go ahead and uh, raise our air search radar while we're at it get that up there that's our periscope there's our air search and uh, keep checking our PPI scope dive periodically to see if there's any uh, sound contacts and maybe we'll catch these guys uh, who knows though I'm hoping we do get the chance to catch them it would be nice to get our hands on a Japanese task force and our torpedo loadout is well concerning I can't really s unload these or anything like that because um, if it is heavily escorted and such uh, these close range torpedoes might not be the best for us however um, that's what's loaded so we're gonna have to use it until we fire off some other eels also we have two mark 27 QD torpedoes loaded up in the tubes so if we get into somewhat of a pickle we can always use these I was looking at them and they seem fine uh, besides the warhead that is fairly small but they also have a speed of 12 knots and that is abysmally slow I uh, look our, our mark 14 goes 31 knots on its slow setting so 12 knots, that's not even the speed of most escorts. Um, most escorts can outrun that easy, uh, especially when they're hunting. Uh, I don't know, unless we find one that stops like they do, um, one of their tactics was they'd have one escort pinging and one doing a depth charge run. So unless something like that happens, I don't really see the QD catching up to the Japanese destroyer, but uh, you know, We'll, we'll have to put that method to the test, see how it works. Let's go ahead and just get on the PPI scope real fast and do a quick sweep for me. <clears throat> I doubt there's going to be anything on here. And I've been recording, if y'all don't remember earlier, I used a mod called OTC, and it's Optical Target correct Correction or something like that. Uh, and it makes the game field of view better or small more narrow But it, it changes the scopes and everything to be more realistic and how things should be seen through a periscope and such I might re-enable that um, I've been recording with my old 
program shadow play that I was having issues with and it seems to be working great now I don't have any issues with it so I, so for some reason I thought the mod was the issue but I really don't think it was hello chief alright so no contacts I wasn't really expecting there to be anything but I'll dive probably every hour and a half or so maybe hour even um, just dive to a hundred feet check it out and uh, resurface I'm sure aircraft are going to be around here so I'll keep you folks updated as we uh... so we have established contact with the uh, Japanese task force and it seems pretty freaking big uh, let's go ahead and head over to our map because the wind is extremely loud in this game uh, I'll get I'll rant about that later <laughs> anyway so we currently only have oh wow okay yeah we're getting even more as our radar operator is picking up more contacts we have a destroyer it's heading south southeast so I think he's rushing back to the the task force I think he was out doing one of their little you know uh, searches for submarines so he we're definitely gonna have to be on the lookout for um, and I'm sure this is an escort too I'm not sure about this guy um, I'm I'm assuming these four are for whatever else has been there or what they're protecting um, I think all of these other ships might be guarding escort screen so maybe maybe I'm wrong um Okay, but that's kind of weird. Sorry, I'm eating a raspberry. <laughs> it's still, it's good. It's a little sour. I don't really like the sour raspberries as much. I like the sweeter ones. Um, anyway, you know, you know how whenever you have a batch of like raspberries or strawberries, there's always like the few that are just way too sour. Uh, that's kind of how that raspberry was. Uh, can't say I really enjoyed it that all, that much, but hopefully the next one will be better. Actually, I'll just put the bowl of raspberries off to the side so I'm not smacking down while I'm trying to sink a ship. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and see. I highly doubt I will be able to make visual contact with these guys at the moment. They're still pretty far out. Let's, let's actually see. Do -do -do. Yeah, they're about seven miles away. Uh, this escort is six... So he's definitely going to be of concern. The weather is obviously kind of poor, so that's going to give us an advantage as well. Let's go ahead and let's actually let's go to like 40 feet. I would just go to radar depth. However, with these waves, uh, we kind of just need our conning tower sticking up a little higher to keep our radar antenna above the waves. And oh my God, those clouds are moving extremely fast. How? What's the wind? That's partial. Wind is 15 meters per second in direction 178. Okay, well that's nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and be sure we have our torps. So we need to be within 4,500 yards from these fellas. So... Also we need to start 315ing. So I hope... Uh, okay, well, when our op our radar operator updates this, we'll start tracking this big fella. Well, maybe big. It's probably just an escort since he's in the front. All right, start. And here they're, it says they're going medium. Yeah, so maybe 14, 15 knots. What the fuck am I doing? Why is my boat going that way? Oh, it's following its course. I don't know when I told them to start following their plotted course. Don't do that. Oh my god, turn around quickly, please. Okay, two minutes. I feel like we're still establishing. Let's see how, how much of us is sticking out of the water. Oh yeah, that's actually working quite well. <laughs> that's exactly what we needed. Just so our radar antenna doesn't get uh, washed over. Because our radar won't work whenever it's beneath the waves. Oh, it is getting washed over. Ah, blasted. What can you do?
come up. I need the radar. Okay, radar's still sweeping now. Damn it. Come on, come on. Alright, we're four seconds. Two. Ah, shit. Alright, well, we'll see. Have to put it a little behind. <clears throat> Let's round down at this point. Can you please find this guy? I'm sure he's about there, huh? Uh, let's go like that. Yeah, let's go 16 knots. That sounds good with me. Alright, so we have an escort here. And I'm sure these two are escorts as well. Um, I don't know what these guys will be. Go to periscope depth. I'll slow down. So, wow, that's a pretty big ring and I'm sure there's more in the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six escorts. And I think this is the juicy content. Uh, we'll take a peek in a second once I get it a little in a better position. I just want need to close the gap. And we do have our cuties locked and loaded just in case. Let's just use our attack periscope because it is a little longer, I feel like. And especially with these kinds of waves. Also, it has a smaller head, so it'll be harder to see. Uh, we're going to have to come up a few feet if I'm going to be able to see diddly squat. Uh, yeah, because right now all I see is the moon. It's very bright tonight. I'm not too concerned about that since it'll only help us at this point since we're doing a night attack and there's something. You know, I lied about uh, not eating another raspberry. Mmm, delish. Alright, let's see. Okay, we got a battleship. So far that is target number uno. Unless there's something a little uh, more tantalizing in here. Um, what do we got here? Periscope's been washed over. Contact. Warship. Closing. Bearing. Six. Can't see. Um, that's a carrier. Okay, uh, that is target number one. That's a carrier. There's another battleship and another carrier. Wow, this thing is meaty. And there's another, that's a carrier as well. Um, there's a destroyer. So that's probably our lead escort. Uh, let's check a little behind us. I need to keep an eye on these destroyers. Well, we do have the cuties. However, I don't want to put my uh, survive my survival in the hands of those. So I'd rather not be in a situation where I have to use them. Excuse me. All right, sorry about that. I had to had to cough a little bit. I've been feeling pretty pretty crappy uh, the past week or so. So, but I uh, really want to play. Okay, that guy is kind of close. I'm. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see how far away. Okay, that is the maximum range of our Mark 14s. <clears throat> That's pretty good. But the problem is, I have these blasted Mark uh, Mark 23s and are that are loaded and their max range is right there. That's no good, honestly. 
So let's make like a hole in the water. And let this guy pass us. And hopefully he doesn't detect me. Uh, rig for silent running. I thought I already clicked that. Oh, he's not turning toward me, is he? I'm about to shoot myself. <laughs> God. I don't, I don't think he's detected us yet, has he? Oh, it says he's just heading east. I could try to shoot him, but... I think that would only cause more problems. If we uh, took a pot shot at him, and if we missed, that would be even worse. Plus, I need to reload my torpedoes and able to take a shot. So we'll just let him pass me. I'm not, not worried about it. Well, hopefully, as long as he doesn't attack me, keep your fingers crossed. The AI in Trigger Maru is very good, so uh, he is being about 1,300 yards away from me. So that's a fair distance. All right, let's go ahead and uh, try to start getting a solution on our aircraft carrier. I think we'll take a shot at the second one in the line, mostly because I think we'll have a better opening at that one. Uh, more time to prepare than I think that might be one right in front of us. I can't see it now, and I'm not gonna, not gonna raise my scope up. Yeah, there's one right, right there at three zero degrees. I could take a shot at him now. Problem is range. I could shoot two at a carrier, try to slow it down, and then two at something a little bit closer, like the the two Mark uh, 23s. I think he's going to pass me, no problems. Okay, let's find the carrier. It's battleship, battleship. There he is. Okay, this is the one we shall shoot at. <clears throat> is it? Is that really the one? Is that one back there? I was hoping we'd shoot at one a little, a little further down the line, but because there was the one smaller carrier that didn't have a superstructure like this. Oh, okay, no, that's the one we'll shoot at. And I think that's it right there, actually, uh, because it has this kind of American-like uh, superstructure. Yeah, that is definitely that. So let's lock that in. Okay. Um, let's check our map. The escort has just passed on by. Thankfully. We'll give him a little bit and we'll start moving. And the problem is our periscope isn't staying locked onto our target, but... Okay, let's move at one knot. <clears throat> okay. Range time. No. All right. Can't really see. Him. Oh my God, these waves are killing me. All right, sure. 7,000 yards, God. So yeah, that'll definitely uh, not work w too well with our Mark 23s. Draft is 29 feet. I could try magnetic pistols. The problem is if they failed. My god, my throat. Talking, jeez. The problem is if they failed. <clears throat> that's no good. Sixteen knots. Uh, 
Um, we can always shoot our uh, our torpedoes at him. That's a battleship. Is our battleship a little further in the line? These waves are really making my day a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Let's come up a little bit. That one's closer. I'll shoot my Mark 23s at that other aircraft carrier. Okay, this is kind of go time, so I need to get my shit together. I can't find the carrier. Come up more. <clears throat> okay, there he is. Is that the one I wanted? It's already that close? Crap, I am... Okay. I'm messing this up. All right. Get range one more time and prepare to shoot. Yeah. Two torpedoes away. Battleship, 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 battleship. Um, um, yeah. Looks good. Mark that. There we go. 16 knots. Contact, open tube three. <clears throat> tube three, tube three, depth 15 feet, fire. Tube four, 15 feet, tube four, fire. All torpedoes in the bow are away now. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think there's... Destroyer, what's right behind us? Smack dab behind us. Oh yes. Find a destroyer, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's just set this manually. Six, 600 yards, going this way. Yep, speed 16 knots. We'll shoot a cutie, open our cutie. Depth zero feet. Uh, we want contact. All right, cutie, prepare to fire, fire two five. All right, anything else? I don't think there's anything very juicy behind us. All right, let's take a look. Oh, oh boy, these actually look pretty good. Hopefully these were not meant for our aircraft carrier. Oh, they might be going a little slow. But I think we have two hits on our hands, unless he accelerates way too fast. But I think we got him right in the engine house. We'll see, cross your fingers. Ooh, got him! Bam, number two. All right. There's a battleship hit. Two torpedoes right in the engine house. That probably will not, not uh, not do very well for him. I'm sure, he's going to start listing very shortly. Let's try to find our other torps. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see them. Here's the aircraft carrier. Don't know if we're going to hit him. Suppose we'll find out now. Let's check our map. Okay, there's all, there's all sorts of shit around. So I think this is the fleet carrier. 
Looks like the torpedoes are kind of getting close. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Yeah. It's definitely lower in the water in the stern. I don't think there's very good odds of him getting out of that. And here's our torpedoes. We need to dive. <laughs> Check on our cutie. Uh, I don't even see it. Yeah, I don't see our, our torpedo anywhere on the map. There's those two. Who the hell knows? Oh, there it is. Maybe it'll lock onto something. I don't know. Not really concerned with that. That was just kind of a test, honestly. Hmm, <clears throat> if he's zigzagging, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit him. I don't even see our torpedoes anymore. I think they ran past them. Well, at least we hit the battleship. If I were to redo this, and I, if I would have had more information, I would have attacked from this side, because all the carriers are on the, uh, the starboard side of the entire convoy. Just curious to find my torpedoes. the one we shot at. Definitely zigzagging. Yeah, I don't, I can't find them. It's up to the gods now. I do want to check. Well, I'm sorry. I keep going to the external view. I just want to check on our battleship. I guess this is the one we hit. Oh, he is listing pretty heavily. But as we discovered, ships in this game tend to stay afloat and move at a reasonable speed even when they are damaged, so... Yeah, they missed. God damn it. But he does not look very good at all. I'm surprised... Still moving very quickly. Hmm. I suppose I could try to re-engage. I would have to tonight because due to all the air cover, I don't think I'd be able to keep up on the surface during the daytime. Okay, we need to go a little deeper as well. Yeah, we're about to get a pummeling. I guess they didn't like the fact that we um, damaged one of their battleships. <clears throat> Looks like they've changed course altogether. No, maybe not. Oh shit, we've been damaged. Okay, we're okay. Oh, we already have a damage. Oh, jeez. I was so confused. Okay, we're not too in bad of a shape. Um, yeah, we barely took any damage. I don't think the battleship's going to slow down, though. Oh, and that makes me so angry. Oh. I really don't think we're going to have another shot. I should have just shot all four at the battleship. It was the better target. 
Well, it was the more accessible target, I guess. I guess now our priority is just not getting killed. No, I'm not too worried about it. We are fairly deep. We're at 200, 200 feet exactly, almost. 199, I guess. Alright, that damage got cleaned up fairly quickly. Let's take a look. Is that a battleship? No, I don't think so. I think that's just a destroyer. Yeah, I really don't think he's slowing down at all. And we're getting pinged. I'm not very surprised by that. <laughs> Obviously. I think he's going to get away. Oh, I don't know, actually. He's taking on even more water. Because the waves are starting to lap onto his deck. Uh, who knows, I guess only time will tell, but currently we're being hunted, um, and I think it might last a while. <laughs> There's quite a few escorts out here, so I'll uh, get back to you guys whenever uh, we're done being hunted, or I get an update that that ship actually starts going down, and um, then we'll celebrate, but I don't know. I'm not very hopeful right now, so we'll see. Uh, start hunting. All right, so they buggered off and I hit the surface. It's 4.04, so God, we don't have much time at all. Um, let's not recharge our batteries. Let's try to catch up because they're, they're out here. This is their last known position. They're pretty far out. Head flank. Assuming that's one of the escorts. Or maybe? Okay, catching up. This is the problem. I don't know how we're going to be able to do an end around on the surface during the daytime when they have so much air cover. I think that's pretty much impossible, so. Let's kind of just cut around here. At least make an attempt to. And try to stay in radar contact with one of these guys. We're making about 20 knots, though. We're doing fairly well. I just don't want to be detected. Okay, let's head east. Broad daylight. What I've been dreading. Single contact. Very Crap. Long range. What the hell is that? It's a fucking plane. Um get, get down there, bud. I'm not diving yet. This is our only chance to catch up, and I'm not, uh... Oh, there's two of them. Wonderful. Ooh! Where did that come from? Whoa, we're being shot at. I don't know how he sighted me. Just a bulkhead's damage. Yikes. Ooh, that was not good. Get under quickly, please. Fast, fast, fast. The short are coming right at us. 
He must have picked us up on radar. There's another one as well. Yeah, I did get a little too close for comfort. Well, that's the end of our chase. I don't think there's a way we're going to be able to, uh... Yeah, I don't think there's going to be a way to, uh, catch them now. Especially if, like, we get hunted now. So, I guess we can be happy with the fact that we damaged the battleship. Uh, I suppose. Because I don't think we're going to catch them. I can keep hunting them, however. Like, try to catch up at night. And I suppose I'll do that. But, uh, for now, I don't think uh, that's going to be doable. So. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got the flooding fixed. So, I'm not too worried about them coming after me. It looks like they're not even going to come after me. They just wanted to get shots off and, uh put me under which that's what hampers me the most so good call good call uh, I'm debating just breaking contacts anyway I'll stay submerged for a bit and try to surface and re rechase them down um, we'll see how that goes I'm kind of annoyed like we hit that battleship right in the engine house and he didn't even slow down uh, and that's one of the things this game the way warships act is kind of whack <laughs> but anyway uh this is wolfpack signing off thank you all for watching as always and i'll see you guys on the next one happy hunting